Hey all, okay, so this is my first video blog. I'm doing this uh, kind of in response to Daniel James, who has been making these, and, and I thought uh, it seemed like a cool idea. So uh, here I am, this is my new studio. I'm here in uh, Sonic Fuel Studios, and this is located in El Segundo, California. And uh, the building is owned by uh, two film composers, um, Christopher Leonards and Timothy Wynn. And uh, there's a bunch of rooms up here. Uh, that um, there's six rooms upstairs, a bunch of film composers, and downstairs is th three other rooms, and there's also a really nice live room downstairs, which maybe I'll show that in another video. Uh, but here's my room. I got the theater seating, all important. But anyway, I'm working on some trailer music today, <coughs> and uh, I'm going to actually try to show you some audio. Um, and I'm going to just record the audio through my iPhone because I'm super lazy today, and I don't feel like doing the whole set up with my mic and, you know, uh, webcam and screen flow and all that stuff. So, uh, here it is. I'm going to see, okay, I'm going to switch cameras now. Okay, so here we are. We're in DP. I still use DP. I love it. This is DP7, uh, digital performer made by Motu. And uh, I'm still doing my old template here where I've got everything hooked up to Bedul uh, through Rewire. And uh, I got a new MIDI controller. This thing's cool. It's it, they don't make it anymore, but you can find it on eBay uh, for like 200 bucks. It's uh, the PC 1600X. It's just great. It's got 16 faders, real simple, and then a bunch of buttons so you can like mute and unmute things if you wanted to. All right, so uh, I'm working on some trailer music, and this is uh, like just for probably geared towards more like big epic. Uh, stuff like a Battleship movie or uh, Transformers or um, G.I. Joe or whatever. So here we go. That percussion, if you're wondering, is... Um, it's, this is one of the main layers. It's this 8-bit thing. The heaviosity layered with like all these big drums, the drums of war, and, and some other custom things. So, let's see. Uh... The strings. So the strings are, uh, you know, the LA scoring strings with Symphobia with uh, this old rolling patch, which uh, is really great, and um, just some other stuff. So it's, you got like four different string libraries layered together, and, uh, and I got a new toy, which is really cool, and it's this, uh, this thing. If you can see, let's see if I can turn this up. That is the Bercasti, and uh, I have everything going through sends directly to this unit right here, Hardware Reverb. And the setting I'm using is the Berliner Hall. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It sounds amazing. It almost like it kind of makes you sound like you know what you're doing, which I like. I like things that make me sound like I know what I'm doing. Put a little break. All the brass, it's all cinebrass. That's, you know, that's the idea. So what I've done so far in my work today is I've set this bed. It's really kind of a percussion, like this is step one. It's creating a groove from all of these elements. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, some uh, melodic and th layered things on top of this. So horns and, and strings to kind of get this thing to build, build, build uh, until we get to the, the very end. And, uh, you know, I'll probably slap on, you know, one of your typical trailer endings. And here's, here's one from a previous piece I did that's got some...
you know, that kind of stuff. Um, all right. I don't know if this was good or not, but uh, it's my first try at, at, uh, at this whole video blog thing. So thanks, Daniel James. Bye.